It is not. It is not my favorite exhibit. Um, this one's 30, no, yeah, this was 21 and this one's 13. So these are the red-footed tortoise and they are from um, southern Central America and through Central South America, so kind of like a red split in the middle. Footed. We are very impressed with the reptile gardens. Um, they have this little area that we're in right now, the tortoise area. And you would normally assume it's kind of be boring. Yeah, you just look at the big tortoises or whatever, but no. Like, we are, like, up close and personal with them. Petting them, and the little zookeeper gave us all sorts of information. Um, highly recommend this place. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the herpetarium is fantastic. Yeah. There's lizards and snakes in an open area that you can walk through. We saw it on video. We've just gotten here. Yeah. I can't wait to see what else is. Yeah. Coming up. I mean, these, these, hey, what do you think? these tortoises, these awesome. they're just roaming around. And they like to be pet, too. Yeah, and they love yeah, being pet. They love oh, although and this 21 year old right here does not like being pet. I tried to pet him here, he jerked to the right and kind of pulled back. But they and respond to being petted. We were introduced to a 114 year old tortoise. He's playing in the mud. We stopped at Reptile Gardens. We saw a gazillion signs on the way, uh, <laughs> and the boys spotted the signs, and they were like, "We got to go. We got to go." And to be honest, kind of felt like it was probably going to be a little tourist trap. Probably not that big of a deal, and I don't know. I mean, it's hard to get excited but about. But we did get this. online and read about it a little bit and look Good at TripAdvisor, trip and it is, um, I think, in 2014. It was in the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest uh, like reptile zoo, so we thought it must be pretty legit. And we were very glad we came. We we loved it. It was the boys awesome. 
I mean, they were amazed. And I got to say, our, our, our oldest son, who is our oldest son that's with us on this trip, we have two sons that are not on this trip uh, that are older out of the house, but our oldest son that's on this trip, Caleb, is a senior this year, and uh, he's wanting to pursue he's, a career in veterinary and field of some kind, and uh, he so, loves reptiles. And, and he so, begs us every time we go somewhere, let's find the herpetarium. Yep. So this, this, this pleased him. <laughs> this was a good one, as you can see from the video. So. Definitely highly recommend yeah, a stop yeah. into if you have time to stop here, Reptile Gardens. I'd maybe give yourself three hours or so. Yeah. And I will say they do normally have shows. Um, I did read that the, yeah. that the snake show is amazing, but because of COVID-19, they have shut those down. And that so, was unfortunate because- So we did not get to see the shows, but we were still impressed. Yeah, it was good um, without the shows, but I can, I can see where the shows would add a, an enormous amount yeah. of entertainment value. Yeah. Anyway. anyway, we love it. Yep. I don't want none of you. I don't have any food. You don't have no food. They know when you don't have food. It's my best friend. You're so found a literal hole in the wall. Hole in the wall, right there, <laughs> look at that, a hole in the wall. We've uh, been driving around this morning through Custer State Park. Um, you know, we read a lot about Custer State Park and uh, the Wildlife Loop, Needles Highway, Iron Mountain, uh, all kind of leading up to Mount Rushmore through the park. Um, I, I mean, we highly recommend this. We're here, it's uh, August uh, 25th. 
Um, happens to be a really hot day today. I mean, it was it's in the nineties out on the in the on the plain side where all the grasslands are. It was ninety six to ninety seven degrees. It's pretty hot. We've got our roof off of our Jeep, so it, it's been a little bit hot. Uh, probably should have started the day a little bit early. Um, and we're just not early morning kind we're of not. people. We left our <laughs> we left the RV by eight or a little after eight. Yeah. Our goal was eight. Our goal was, was eight. Probably about eight ten. We probably. I, I would imagine if you got on the the wildlife loop closer to, I don't know, six thirty seven. I'm not sure what time it opens. Uh, the park opens. But anyway, at any rate, um, the earlier you get out, the more animals you're going to see. We see we prairie dogs and prairie bison. Prairie dogs and bison. Prairie dogs are my favorite. A lot of prairie dogs. Yeah. If you want to see prairie dogs and bison, this is definitely a place uh, to go. The deer. See the... several deer. Pronghorn, pronghorn deer, deer and and just white tailed deer. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen turkeys. Uh, we've seen coyotes. Uh, yeah, we saw coyotes, a coyote. Which we see saying. the video of the coyote. Um, it was running through the field with all the prairie dogs. And, and the, the prairie, prairie dogs, dogs are barking like nuts. crazy. Uh, you know, pretty good timing to see the the response yeah, like, of the prairie dogs like to a predator. It was nature pretty, in pretty cool. action. Yeah, Caleb really liked that. <laughs> Caleb and Levi. You know, we've seen uh, obviously several birds. Definitely a lot of wildlife. Yeah, so much. Uh, we've not seen any. Um, elk yet. Or the bighorn sheep. Or the bighorn sheep. We're still looking for that. Hopefully we're going to see that. We're riding the Needles Highway at this point. Uh, so we're hoping, you know, back in the hills, we may actually get to see some, some, uh, bighorn sheep. Yep. So anyway, big thing is we highly recommend these drives. I mean, they are amazing. Spectacular views along the Needles Highway here in Custer Park. jam in the needles eye tunnel <laughs> people do not know how to drive you just got to be patient and deal with the ignorance of humans but that's okay it's part of it Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Roads Rules channel. And always remember, life is a journey. You hold your map.